Huh? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Music Grading, Ranking, and Reviewing Podcast. We like to call Music Meltdown. We're a part of the Album of the Year series, and what we're talking about in 1984. This year is fucking crazy. Uh, there is just so many amazing records this year. I have alone eight honorable mentions on top of the five other records. And um, my favorite album in general came out this year, so I like it a little bit because of that. But yeah, that's Avi. How 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 you feeling, man? How you feeling about eighty four? Yeah, it's um, it's a wide wide year. Um, um, I think we are doing the deep deep dive of eighty four next Thanks year. So, yeah. So. Yeah, definitely would like to even deep dive more while I have quite a bit of five stars and 4.5s and yeah, so many, so many cool stuff in this year. Nice, nice. Some of my yeah. honorable mentions for this year. I got one that I know people don't like this album. I think it's great. I got the Big Express by XTC as an honorable mention. As well, I have The Unforgettable Fire by U2, uh, Cafe Blue by The Style Council, Mirror Moves by The Psychedelic Furs, Purple Rain by Prince, Some Great Reward by Depeche Mode, uh, Heartbeat City by The Cars, and my final honorable mention is going to be Knife by Aztec Camera. That being said, on to the top five now. Number five, I got Learning to Crawl by The Pretenders. Really them fully veering into the pop landscape they would later do. Obviously, this is after the uh, tragedy that would befall the band, losing two of their primary members. But Chrissy Hind is able to regroup, really focus in on the pop writing and sort of the catchiness of the music and just create an incredible 80s pop album. Speaking of incredible 80s pop, next up, I'm talking Like a Virgin by Madonna. I think that this album is just pop personified. Uh, her style and panache across here is lovely. I love the, the singles, of course, are just amazing, but I think there's a couple of pretty good ballads on here, too. Really well balanced. Next up, mm, I want this to be number one so bad, but it can. I have Diamond Life by Sade. Everybody knows I love Sade a lot. I think that she is the pinnacle of Sophista Pop, but she brings in a great soulful sort of light jazzy flair to it as well, with this being her pinnacle, in my opinion. Just starting out with um, uh, Smooth Operator is one of the best album openers ever. It is just tremendous. And more than that, I even, even more than that, my favorite song on here is Your Love is King, which I think is just in, one of the greatest pop songs ever. But number two for me, I don't know. I like this record a lot. I have it at five. It might slip if I listen to it again, but I do love it a lot. It's going to be the self-titled Orange Juice record. To me, it's just them kind of shedding the post-punk flair and just fully embracing great pop music, and they do it excellently with the incredible Edwin Collins at the helm. But my number one, there wasn't much debate. It is literally my favorite album. It is Let It Be by The Replacements. Uh, in my opinion, it's just perfect craft front to back. It has a perfect blending of humor, sort of darkness. You have some fun energy to it. There's so much passion going into everything westerberg's lyrics on this are second to none they're just outstanding and i really can't think of a single dull moment uh and when this album wants to grip at your heartstrings tracks like androgynous and stuff like uh unsatisfied or answering machine just really crush you i can't get enough of it it is one of my favorite albums ever it is my favorite album at the current moment so it kind of had to be number one, although part of me wants to give it a Diamond Life, but I can't call Diamond Life my favorite album. So let it be other replacements, my winner. Yeah, nice. Um, I definitely have to check out the Orange Juice album. Um, maybe in the deep dive, I will. And only three records, yeah, for one too. So. But yeah, I think no. you would, I think you would like that one. It's prob it's pretty poppy. Not sure how you'd feel mm. about Edwin Collins. I know a lot of people in our sphere don't really like him that much. I love him, but I guess we'll see. Um, yeah, I had some 
problems with his vocals in uh I think I did some album in the I did too deep dive. That's sure your which... That's was that like a dolphin list. song? Some you can't hide cover with whatever. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um back to eighty four. <laughs> uh my just quick honorable mention. Um uh the blue Nile walk across the rooftops. Just a very cool album. I have Talk Talk, It's My Life. So I want to listen to it again soon and could, could grow even more. And you mentioned her already, but Madonna with Like a Virgin. Yeah, I love this. Yeah. Favorite of hers and <clears throat> Just uh, many bangers in that album, and um, you know, and I'm gonna give a shout out to Survivor, which I love. <laughs> Vital Signs. This is um one of my favorite AUR albums. Yeah. Um. Just missing my list. It was um Iron Maiden with Power Slave. Like uh their um heavy metal meets like there's some proc metal elements to it and yeah, definitely a cool album. But my actual list starts with number five, um U two, the unforgettable fire. Yeah, U two again and this already has a very different sound to what they did last year with War. Um, closer to the Joshua Tree style and kind of like a very big sound. Maybe I'll truck or something. And but I guess there's some sort of ambience to it, maybe. I don't know. And but yeah, lots of lots of lots of memorable songs here. My favorite is the t- title song, "The Unforgettable Fire," and the synth starts is so cold. I love it. And yeah, bad, bad is great. I personally prefer some live versions of bad over this, but still great. And, MLK and Wire, Indian Summer Sky, sort of homecoming. Yeah. Very nice. U2 album. Then I have um, Reckoning by REM. This is a fun jungle pop album. Um, very melodic and um maybe less mumbling mom, <laughs> than they did on their earlier songs, but still has that sort of same early area feel. Uh yeah. Just uh love putting this on because some of those all the songs especially are just bangers, hard work out and so central rain, pretty persuasion. Yeah, so, so many great songs here and um yeah, I love Michael Stipe in this album. And yeah, R E M. Number four, my number three. Um Maybe a surprising album, I don't know. Um, but I've been listening to this a lot recently, and some of you know, especially Tom, if you're watching this. I've been talking about with him this album quite a bit. It's Wasp, um, self-titled album, their debut album, uh, heavy metal, clam metal. And yeah, uh, it's just... Uh, 
10 great songs. Maybe not everyone is on the same level, but um, so much fun. Um, obviously, um, they got some heat because they do have so, sort of a, like a quite um, quite the lyrics sometimes. Um, very um, sexual sometimes or they even well their first single was basically a have the f bombs and it was part of the filthy 15 songs in the 80s and but yeah i i do i do love listening to this a lot and we'll keep on listening obviously yeah that's that's a fun one and again Another very fun one that we talked about in this channel, Heartbeat City by the Cars. Just a fun pop album, new baby, synth pop, whatever. Um, one of my, it sounds great. Um, Matt Lang produces it, and um, so much fun to listen to it. Um, not a single bad song for me and starts with hello again which is one of my favorite songs and I love looking for love magic mm -hmm. you might think I get I have you heartbeat city just so many bangers in this album and I can in that um, sweet spot of like a 40 minute album so much about and yeah, very fun. My number one um is Purple Rain by Prince and the Revolution. Yeah, easy, easy pick this time. And yeah, again, just uh I think yeah, this 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 is my actually my first Prince mention, which I'm almost surprised, but um love this a lot. Um really don't have anything negative on this album. While I slightly think there are again some songs are better than others, but maybe some of those are like uh six out of five songs then some are just just five out of five <laughs> I don't know but like uh, yeah when Dubs Cry is my song of the year love it a lot uh, Purple Rain is awesome Um, let's go crazy and yeah very cool Um, very fun 80s album that everyone everyone probably knows so not really there to say anything, but, but yeah, it was my 84 list. Great year. Nice, nice. Yeah, some uh, some cool stuff there. <laughs> any uh, any closing remarks yeah. on 84 here? We had some pretty uh, different differing lists there. So yeah, I I guess you mentioned some of my albums in your. Honorable mentions like the cars and prints, at yeah. least. With how long those honorable mentions are, it'd be a challenge if I didn't. I gotta say, I do really <laughs> like that Survivor yeah. record. I listen to it, and honestly, it's probably pretty high up there on my list of just AOR records in general. So, like yeah, yeah, bit. yeah, it's yeah. a fun album. Thanks, nice. nice. That being said, I hope you enjoyed that there for 1984. Post your list down below and give us any feedback or anything that you feel inclined. But yeah, a good one. <laughs>